like it's frozen and yeah we are live on the youtubings good stuff lovey dovey day lovey dovey day lovey dovey day it is valentine's my dude um right cool game's loaded up let me just quickly pop this to here go to here go to here and whoop got it there we are nice 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 uh nicotine equinox thank you very much for the 43 month Risa. welcome back uh, and also zoa Z Z zoran is it zoran or is it zoa ron kira i don't know i don't know if that's three names or if it's a, if it's an amalgamation of them i've no idea but here we are so if you missed yesterday's live stream uh, a couple things to know about is that we started playing around with create mod um chat informed me that apparently now the water wheels give out maximum power regardless of how much water there is so you can literally just use one water wheel to get a full 512 su um for your speed which is pretty cool so there you are do you have any recommendations in terms of headphones that are comfy to wear with glasses i mean so these are really comfy to wear with glasses they are called dt 770 pros there you go they're from uh bayer dynamic um and they're relatively pricey but i would say they are worth every penny they've got unbelievable bass they're what a lot of podcasters musicians radio presenters <coughs> just about everybody uses them portal's got glasses as well and portal wears them too so yeah big 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 vouchers on that front but anyway in yesterday's live stream we were um in fact let me just check that restream work oh it didn't why is that not worked give me a second uh doo -doo -doo -doo. I guess I can always just bring up the dashboard on here. I can look at both screens a little bit for chat today. Why not? Uh, do, 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 do. Go live bit. What I do is I'll bring back that chat. There we go. Nice. Sorted it. Uh, but yeah, yesterday's live stream, we started doing the create mod stuff. So there's these quests that are on your inventory screen just here. Um, and when you scroll to the bottom of it, you've got these just here. So um, we basically made one of everything or began making one of everything. Um, so we got a few more slightly complex things over here to create today. And I was doing it mostly to just get a ton of XP. So you can see I've got level 47 at the minute. I swear I was on like 20, maybe even less than that when we started it. So... Um, it's been pretty good so far, honestly. So I want to kind of continue doing that. There we go. Noise. When did... Oh, a Pokemon definitely died here. I just don't know which one it was. Are we going to try and... Wait, what was that? We're going to try and get those steam tanks we saw last time up and running. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, what I'll do is I'll still make a baseline of everything. And then we'll try out like some combined... Some combined tech. You know what I mean? Try right-clicking the water wheel with a vanilla wooden plank. Uh, okay. Uh, ooh, you can change the color of them. Well, that's cute. I'm guessing you can just do that for any of them then. Oh, the water wheel's not working because of the... It wasn't working because of the um the, it's winter technically. Insert obligatory joke about a stack mm. of resub months here. Catching a stream live for the first time in a wee while. Hey, oh, hello Rye. Rye. How are you, dude? Thank you very much for the 64 months, dude. That's redonkulous. That's a really, really long time. Right, let's have a wander inside then. Let's figure out what we're making next. We're basically stunned here because this is where a lot of my crafting stuff is. Um so what was the next thing? Where did the quadracopter come from? I have no recollection of when I last had the quadrocopter. Did I pick that up or or what? I don't remember pulling it out of my inventory or even crafting one. So I guess we'll see. Anyway, quest time. What are we making next? So it would be nice to finish off this top area. What have we got? An accumulator. The accumulator requires golden wire, which we can now make, which is good. Um... It needs brass casing and copper rods. We just made the copper rods at the end of the last stream. Copper sheets and zinc sheets. I didn't realize we needed zinc sheets. Uh, do I have any zinc? And zinc will probably be in this chest. Yeah, there we go. Um, I don't recall how many it was. I don't think it was that many. I reckon that'll do the trick. We'll go drop these onto the old, um, the old press. Get that done real quick. Whoop. The stream nice. could always use more subscribers. Nice, that'll make some zinc sheets. Also, just check his info is always nice. A small water wheel generates 256 stress units hello, hello, at 8 Michael RPM, Boy. and a large one generates 512 units at 4 RPM. That's a lot of numbers, and I don't know a whole lot of what that means. Is that not just the 
insane then. Yeah, is that. Did, did, oh, wait, are they not equal then? Because if it's double the RPM and then doubling the stress units. Hmm. If I remember correctly, they might be. Interesting. There we go. Zinc sheets. Check. We'll make it daytime as well, just so we can actually see what we're doing here. We'll get a bunch of these made, and then we'll figure out what we're going to create and what we're going to automate, I guess. Basically, what I want to do is I want to get a decent automation system going and, like, you know, like, convey about lines and all that sort of stuff so that we've got the ability to create a lot of the create stuff um, that we potentially going to need for our Pokemon gym is basically where my head's at with that. Let me just quickly fly over to Scott's. I just want to go see if there's anything I can do. In fact, hold on. I'll grab some bones before I go. Where is it? Uh, mob drops, bone meal and bones. I did also have a Valentine's tweet idea chat, which was, um, I thought of it like months ago and I was like, oh, I'll do that if I remember. And just somehow I happened to remember it. Um, it's basically just making a joke about how so many of the parkour warrior obstacles are those uh, disappearing block ones on MCC Island. I just wanted, I, just a stupid, simple caption like, like, I love you as much as the Nox crew likes vanishing platforms or something like that. You know what I mean? I just couldn't think of how to word it for it to it to really stick you know what i mean uh where we're looking there we go nice just gonna breed a bunch more of these cows see if we can still get the um see if we can still get what we need i'll only ever do half at a time just in case i need more but yeah there was a where was it i actually took a print screen in game um Or was it screenshots so it's not on that one it'll be in the mcc folder <laughs> that was the one oh no should i just craft this tweet now let's do it twitter twitter.com there we go so that's the image that's that's the picture there it's just the the vanishing block so what could you do you could say roses are red Violets are blue. I love you as much. Oh no, it's, it wouldn't fit. It's too many syllables. Because what helps is Nox crew. Crew rhymes with blue, so he's actually put Nox crew at the end would be perfect. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Roses are red. Violets are blue. I love you as much as vanishing platforms yeah ah, it's confusing isn't it by the way what is this what is this <laughs> smut on the bottom of my timeline some larian studios spoilers for me because i've still not played boulders gate just yet Roses are red, violets are blue, I love you as much as... As these by Nox Crew. Keeps it short and sweet. Roses are red, violets are blue, I love you as much as these by Nox Crew. That makes it sound like I love them, not so much. It makes it sound like I love them as opposed to the Nox Crew loving them. Roses are red. Um, you shine like a diamond. Uh, on MCC Island. That could be the way to do it. So we rhyme diamond and island. Roses are red. You shine like a diamond. Um... You just like me overthinking a simple tweet. <laughs> this, I can't think of how to word it. The concept of the tweet is there, just not the actual like, not the actual writing. I love you as much as the Nox crew loves these. That is a very good one. Um, I love you as much as the Nox crew loves these. 
And then obviously we need to put a word to rhyme with um with these. Um so what's these trees? Roses are red, they don't grow on trees. I love you as much as the Nox crew loves these. <laughs> Does that work? CC MCC Island. Send tweet. <laughs> sure, there you go. Do you like that? Send tweet. Done it. We did it. Well done, chat. We we made a meme. We made a May May. We made a May May. I literally came up with that. I swear I came up with that in like November or something daft like that. It was so long ago. And I logged in to do my little daily Parkour Warrior Dojo thing. And I was like, oh, it's Valentine's Day. That thing that I forgot about. I know none of this stuff is going to grow because it's the winter technically on the server at the minute. But I will do it anyway. How long are the seasons in this mod pack? Does anybody know in BCG? Does he look at YouTube chat? I do, Cosmo. I do look at um, the YouTube chat. Is that all the bone meal gone? Yeah, I don't need to do any more. Right then, up we go. Let's get some feed in. I mean, there's still loads in here. I guess the problem is, is I'm not staying here and they're not breeding whilst I'm away. So I'm not getting a whole lot from them. And all it takes is one, my dude. Oh, no. There we go. I wondered why they weren't all scurrying around. That surprised me. Are they all in a lovey-dovey state? Breeding, 163 seconds. Yeah, there's not that many of them to, to do it. Is that the Smooth Animations mod? Dude, I could not tell you which animations... Uh, sorry, which mods are in this. There is a big old hodgepodge of mods inside this thing. Is there anything I could leave here that would leave the entity spawn so they keep uh, breeding or no? Oh, is there supposed to be a fellow here or? Are these, are these Scots mules? Or are these part of a trading villager? Not sure. It's 28 days per season mine. Okay, cool. Feels very apt for February, doesn't it? So it's like Moon Quest, but with more mods. I mean, so the mod pack is called Big Chad Guys Plus. And the way that it's described by the uh, sort of the person who made the mod pack is that it's uh, made by a Factorio boyfriend for a Stardew girlfriend with Cobblemon mixed into it as well. That, that's literally their words, which is quite a quite a funny way of describing it. So there you go. Also, Whale, thank you very much for the raid, dude. Come on in. Hello, hello. Thanks for the raid. Uh, we are currently just running through some BCG and getting a bunch of the quests done. So we've got a bunch of these create items that we can create. Um, so we're just working our way through these slowly but surely. What was the next one we're making? The accumulator. We needed the capacitor, which was two copper sheets, two zinc sheets, and two redstone torches. Uh, where is it? You're going to get crushed, Benary, if you stay there. Jeez. Right, let's see. What sheets have I got? Sheet. I might need to actually just go back to the chest. So I've got zinc sheets there. I feel like I had some copper sheets, but maybe I don't. Maybe it was the copper rods I'm thinking of. Yeah, no no copper sheets. Got gold iron and that one. Okay, fair. So let's get some copper ingots, which I do have. We'll run some of these into the old smoosher. Uh, copper, copper, copper. Got it. Nice. Tell you what, I need to do. I need to make my drink. Oh, also, oh, here's the um, here's the the Go XLR that they sent me, just so you can see it's a real thing. Oh, and that's the little extra XLR cable. But yeah, I currently have a black version of this and have done for years upon years. But this is basically the white version of it. Um, so yeah. So there you go. <laughs> Light mode. Don't start saying ooh white and light mode and, and stuff like that. You lot normally rinse me for having light mode of anything, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stand for this sudden praise of bright products or bright things. Comes across as very false on your part. I'll I'll have you know. 
What is that? Oh, it's smoke from the forge. I was like, what the hell am I looking at? And there's some kind of weird wispy Pokemon. Right then, uh, let's make this thing. So we need to make two of these capacitors. What else do I need? I need redstone torches, which I have only one of. Hold on. I've got sticks, haven't I? Yeah, there we go. Um, so two of them. And then it was two more kinds of sheets. It was zinc sheets and copper sheets, which I've now got. Quest, 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 accumulator. Uh, two of those. Lovely. And then what was the rest of that uh, crafting? It was the copper rod, which I've got. I need some brass casing. That's fine. I need some gold wire. Am I putting a gold sheet in there? Okay. I know that there's gold sheets in here. Um, what we got? Anything create or actually to be fair, anything not create, I'll get rid of. Uh, mob drops, ores and ingots can stay. Material checklist. God, I've not used one of those in a while. Um, there we go. Sweet. Google says it's a 0.0002% chance of dropping everlasting beef from a cow. Jesus. I swear I've seen like two people on this server with one. They just like sat there and farmed them. In fact, could I do that? Could I find a way to farm the mobs on here? How would I do that? Like there must be a way for me to use create mod to crush them. You can find them in chests, right? Yeah. I oh, did Roz find one in the chest? Oh, she did. Okay, fair. I mean, that's fair. Uh, what was I making? I was making the gold wire, wasn't I? Was it just the one that I had to drop in? I think it was. Let me double check what the recipe was again. Uh, quest, accumulator, gold wire. Yeah, it's just one and you get two out of it. Oh, it's not connected. I'm, I'm a silly boy. Silly me, silly me. Uh, will that be enough? Oh, no, wait. Hold on. How did I connect this up before? Did I literally just do small and big before or no? Oh, yeah. I must have done. That's fine. Uh, right. One gold sheet. Boop. There we go. And that will slowly make me my gold wires that I'm after. Nice. Got it. Okay, cool. So is that everything then? Accumulator, brass casing. Do I not have those copper rods on me? I'm surprised I put those back in the chest, to be honest. I didn't think I would have. So I like, barely just made them at the end of the last live stream. Uh, yep, so I did. Brass casing, any brass casings here? No. I think I've got brass ingots somewhere. Unless I haven't. I can have ran out already. Nothing there. Oh, maybe I have run out of brass already. Damn. What was brass again? Was it... Was it... Copper and... Copper and... Zinc? Was it? Copper and zinc? Zinc and copper in the forge, yeah. Okay, cool. Ooh, jeez. Oh, there's still some raw copper in there. Do that. I guess I've not technically got raw zinc, but what I can do is I can pull out these two and pop in that and that. We'll make some brass. This will do. Where did these airship things keep coming from? I swear, I swear, I swear I've not touched any of the airship stuff in a while. I, I could have sworn I got rid of them out of my chest and suddenly they're just still here. It's fine. Hello, can't stay long. Currently on the tube to the 1975 concert tonight. Let's go. Hope you have a good time, dude. Have you been yet, Portal? I swear, I swear you said you got tickets, but I can't remember when you said uh, when when that date was for that. How big is their tour, just for like context? Because I, I have no idea. I know they're a big band and stuff, but I don't know how many gigs they're doing. You're going Saturday and Sunday. Wait, what? That must have cost a bomb, dude. To go two days. Technically better to smelt the copper and zinc and then mix the ingots since it would give you more overall. Oh, does it? Fair. Well, I guess we've done it the right way then. Accidentally done it the right way, but we did it the right way. Hmm. 
I've wondered for a while what does GoXLR offer that other conventional interfaces don't offer. Genuinely curious. So the biggest thing with GoXLR versus other interfaces, a lot of other other interfaces are just you put your microphone in and you have your headphones come out and that's it. Like that, that's the classic interface for microphone stuff. Whereas with the GoXLR, you put your microphone in and then you've got, I mean, I can show you because I've got this one. Um, Um, but yeah, basically with the GoXLR, you've got these faders just here um, and you can use each of those to control different things. So for example, I always have my microphone, music, my headphones, and then game sounds. Um, but if you change your headphones by the dial on your headphone or something like that, then you can obviously swap it out. Um, and then what it also allows you to do, I mean, this thing here has sound effects on it as well. So like, for example, I've got um, this one. So you've got reverb, which is the KV sound. You've got echo, which is the actual repetition of my voice. Uh, you've got pitch, which if I twist that upwards, you got this and you can go really low as well. So you've got that. Um, you've got morph, it now says. Previously, it used to say gender, which it says on my device, which just kind of tilts everything a little bit lower or kind of gently pitches things higher as well. So it's sort of I don't know what the, the technical phrase is for it, but um, but yeah, so that's what that does. Uh, in addition to that, you've got these things here, so I can record my voice and I can go, DJ. Oh, does it not work? Okay, there we go. Jesus. <laughs> so the reason they sent me that new one for free is because my one I've had for years upon years upon years. And finally, it's it's hit the fritz where when I press and hold a button or if I move the device too much, it goes funny. But if I press it more gently this time, DJ. No, didn't work. DJ. It's just not saving. I, I, I love that it's, this never... This never not works, and yet this time around it is. Hello. No, it's not doing it. But basically, this trackpad just here lets you press and hold, and you can record a sound on it, or you can put um, you can put sound effects on it as well. So you can drag a, a, a sound effect on it. You can press this button, and now it sounds like I'm inside of a volcano, sort of thing. So there you go. Um, and then aside from that, you got this button just here which does a sensor sound you've got this one where i can just press and hold it to mute myself ba, 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 ba. so there you go um and then the most important thing is that um you have this thing here called the routing table so basically uh like i mentioned how you can control your microphone headphones chat gameplay all that sort of stuff what the go xlr does when you plug it in is it creates loads of recording devices and loads of playback devices so it's got um it's got samples which is the the dj thing that i was trying to do you've got system which i have my game sounds on you've got line in so if i've got for example i need to tick that because where i'm on a two pc setup i've got an aux cable that goes from my streaming pc into this one uh, or into the go xlr so i can hear things from another computer or sound source and then it just gives you a bunch more playback devices like console game music and chat so obviously i put discord on chat i put music on music uh, my web browser is on music uh, i don't actually use game game is kind of like a left over one for me as is console but i use them a lot when i do the radio stuff to divide out stuff onto different uh things and then not only does it create all those inputs and outputs you can even choose where they go to so these headphones that i'm wearing right now are plugged into the go xlr and basically i've got everything ticked because i want to hear everything uh on stream so this broadcast stream mix would be um if i'm using it on the same pc so if i had a one pc setup I would have broadcast stream mix which would be what i would put into my obs 
So all the all the sounds and stuff all go out as one mix. So you put one microphone source into OBS and it's that. Uh, line out is what goes to the streaming PC, which is what I use it for. Um, so that's my equivalent of broadcast stream mix, but in my setup. Uh, and then your microphone, you can decide whether you want any of that music to go into your microphone. If you want to share your music on Discord, like when you're talking or whatever. But generally, I just have just the microphone and samples because that often samples my microphone. Um, and then again, the sampler is only ever listening to my microphone when I press and hold the button to record something. So that's what this does. And it's really, really good at it. <laughs> that's, that's the big thing with GoXLR. It gives you a lot of versatility. It allows me to hear stuff that chat doesn't hear or vice versa like chat can hear things that i wouldn't um and there's a lot of there's a lot of good that comes with it literally the only reason i've been looking at getting a different device potentially is because i needed more sliders um i would love it if i could have six sliders and the road device that exists has six sliders what it doesn't have is the routing so that's basically my my issue or my my current problem with it um at the moment so oh category still just stream, uh, chatting my bad let me uh fix that hold on the stream could always use more it? subscribers bcg smp19 but yeah, so that's what the that's what the Go XLR does. I'm very appreciative they've sent me a new one because if that thing keeps happening where I press a button on there and everything disconnects, I think it's just I've had it for so long and I've transported it between th three houses now. Um, I think it's finally just kind of shook loose or it's just it's just had a lot of use. You know what I mean? Um, but on the on the front with the road version of that that thing um apparently road are working on a firmware update that will add in all of that functionality they already have a software if anybody ever wants to use it um because you don't need a road device to use the software they've got a software called road unify as in r-o-d-e and then unify u-n-i-f-y um and that does basically the same thing you just don't have as much immediate control over Stream it so there you go. Uh, blaze flame thank you very much for the 25 uh zioni gaming thank you very much for the three months welcome back thank you thank you thank you um but there you go long-winded explanation as to why i like that that's why i like the thing uh what am i still waiting on here have i i thought i made the accumulator already um so i waiting to make something else oh one brass casing i guess i did need some wood out of there didn't i uh I think I chucked some planks away or uh, uh, logs even. Boop, boop, and brass, 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 brass inger. Nice, got it. Sweet. Let's drop that for a second. We'll get this quest knocked out. Lovely. There's an accumulator made. Don't even know what the accumulator does, but I'm sure we'll find out. Um, next thing on the list is going to be picking up the XP. Nice digital adapter so that one doesn't seem to have a creation tree thing which is weird uh, a tesla coil oh so you need mechanical crafting to do that which is something i've not done before so i guess would i have to make a bunch of mechanical crafters in order to pull that together i'll save that for later on then if that's part of a mechanical crafter a smart observer is an observer which is what uh stone dust and quartz which i think i've got enough to make an observer actually hold on uh observer what am i missing oh is it because i'm trying to do it in that window yeah it is okay cool all right so i've got an observer and then what was the other thing i needed for it need another electron tube which means i need a polished rose quartz so the rose quartz is redstone here quartz there bam got that and then what else did i need smart observer is electron tube Oh, I need to do the sandpaper thing. I think I might have actually run out of sandpaper. I only had the one. I don't actually have any actual paper in there. I'm going to have to go grab some paper from the very limited sugar cane that I have here. <laughs> I really don't have a whole lot. Oh, and of course it's going to break because of stuff and things. It's going to break because uh, it's winter and all of this water is, it is, is not thawed out. So I guess I'll do that real quick. Honestly, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world for me to actually light up this coastline a bit better so we'll do that real quick Bojang just added the poisonous skeleton i saw i did see i saw it uh let's throw away that and that is that enough sugar cane no you don't i saw you trying 
You thought and you failed. Thank you, sir. Right. I only need literally the one sandpaper, so we're good. Uh, if I just break this with my fist. Nice, cool. I'm just going to plant the rest of this. Because why not? Nice. Uh, break that. That looks like it might need another torch there. Seems to only do it on a very slight angle, doesn't it? There we go. And... Doo -doo -doo. I think that should be all good. Yeah, nice. Cool, got it. Uh, sandpaper also requires one sand as well. So gimme, gimme, gimme. Nice. Paper and sand. Sandpaper. That in the offhand. Rose quartz in the main hand. Rub a dub dub together. Lovely. And then we can make the electron tube, I think. I've not got the iron sheets on me. Bloody hell. Do -do -do. You know what I might do, actually? I might do set home to this room. Just realised that. I, I always teleport home and then I end up having to run up the stairs, which just seems a little bit irrelevant if I keep doing it again and again. There we go. Electron tube. Bam, bam, bam. And then what was the other thing I needed for it? Was it brass casing? Or it was brass casing. Okay. Oh, uh, where's brass case in? There it is. Watch it. Lovely. There's another one. Where is it? Smart observer. Gotcha. Got it, got it, got it. Let me just check what create mod stuff I've got here. Uh, yeah, put those in just for a moment. I'll pull out sheets and rods and a bit of that and a bit of that. Aside from that, I need to probably empty out this inventory a teensy bit. Um, if I do cobble, I'll keep, I'll keep that on me. Do, -do, -do. Uh, do I want to plant more cacti? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll dump the cacti in there. Sweet, got it. Um, right, got that. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, hubby wubby. <laughs> Is, is Netty on a roll account? What's going on? What's going on? Right, let's do this. Uh, next one is going to be... Taking off that. Oh, hold on. That's that one. So Tesla coil was going to be in the big crafting thing. Electric motor is also done in mechanical crafting, so we'll leave that for now. The Nixie tube. Double electron tubes. Right. Loads more rose quartz then. Um, um, um. I don't know what this is. Feels like it would be this would be like a jet set radio song or something. What else do I need for the tubes? Oh, I need to sandpaper them all, don't I? Uh cool. Well, it looks so weird when I've got one in my hand, one in the middle, and then another one over to the side as well. Nixie tubes. Two electron tubes. One, two. Nice. Got it. Nixie tube. I made. Made four Nixie tubes. No idea what they do, but we'll find out one day. Sweet. Uh, what's next? A sticky mechanical piston. So just a mechanical piston, which is andesite casing and a piston extension pole. Pretty sure that when I made those poles, it made like eight of them. Yeah, there it is. Um, mechanical piston. And I guess I just need... Was it a slime ball? I'm going to make an educated guess and say, yes, it was just a slime ball. Oh, wait, what? Was it not more than... What? Oh, was it because I clicked into that to see what it was? Oh, okay, yeah, no, I'm just skipping a step. That's good. Lovely. Tap. That's another quest done. Sweet. And then one of the final ones here, the linked controller. Need a redstone link, which is brass casing in the redstone torch. Gotcha. And then get some brass. We can definitely automate this in the future to make automated brass and things like that. Let's see. Link controller. Need redstone controller. I really don't have a redstone torch right now. Damn. There we go. Try again. There we go. Two of them. And then what was it to make one of those? It was... Was it buttons? It is buttons. Okay. And buttons are just literally just... Those, aren't they? I can't remember how many I needed. 
11 buttons, I think, should do the trick. Link controller, bam, bam, bam. Got it. Lovely. Another piece of the puzzle. Oh, I'll take the buttons out, actually. I should eat real quick. Oh, I thought I was moving slow. There you go. Nice. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Link controller, good. Next one is the display link. Okay. Brass casing, copper sheet, and that. I need redstone torch and a copper sheet. I got any copper sheet spare? Yep. I'll make a redstone torch real quick. I don't know why I'm always surprised at how often I need a redstone torch. Like, create is a very techy thing, so it does make sense that it would lean into redstone elements. Lovely. Made that. Fun fact, while checking the water wheel wikis earlier, uh, apparently the way that changing their style works is by literally copying the log and plank textures, which already means it should work with modded woods. Oh. Do we have any modded woods? I don't know if we do. Jungle, cherry, I mean, they're all vanilla, right? Hmm, not sure. Now I'm ASCII art in 2024. Dude's living in the past. There you go. Um, what was I making again? Can't remember now. Oh, I was looking at wood, wasn't I, a second ago? Yeah, that's fair. Right then, we have got lots of stuff to make here. So what's this? Plank, andesite, casing, and a cogwheel. All right, hold on. Do I have andesite alloy? I've got like one or two. Let me get some logs out the top here. Uh, logs, there we go. One, two, there we go. Oh, there we go. Uh, how many cogwheels have I got? Got any cogwheels in there? They're teeny tiny. I've got large cogwheels. I don't think I've got any actual cogwheels. Let me grab out the shafts. <laughs> it was teeny tiny cogwheels, wasn't it? Yeah, nice. Triple check. What else do I need for that? Slab and the site casing. Oh, I've got, I've got slabs as well, actually. I might actually be able to make that. Yep, can make it. Sweet. Sweet. Dude, my inventory is becoming a hot mess real quick. Let me try and get rid of some stuff. I feel like we're getting very, very over, over encumbered here. Buttons, in fact, buttons I'm just going to ditch. There's no point in them taking up a slot, is there? Bones into there. Let's sort those. Let's sort this. Wooden chest gone. Uh, just about everything here needs to be there, doesn't it? Oh. God, I thought I really broke that then. Um, okay, got it. Let's have a look. Quest. So... Oh, did that not... Did we not make one of those a second ago? Ah, uh, do you reckon it was the same recipe? It's in your backpack. Oh yeah, it's there. Oh, maybe it's because I put it straight to the backpack, uh, backpack as opposed to putting it in my hand. Maybe that's what it was. That makes sense. Got really confused for a second then. Next thing is the elevator pulley. Brass casing, dried kelp block. So I don't have that just yet. So I need dried kelp, which is just kelp that's been cooked, right? Or via the fan, which is what we were setting up last time. Do I have any kelp? That kelp would be in here, if anywhere. Bamboo leaves. I thought they were kelp for a second. I do have an ocean biome I can go to. Um, let me do that real quick. It was called like Yummy Desert. Oh, hello, fella. What are you up to? Bubble coral block, blue dye, pink dye. Yeah, no, nothing of interest. So is this that's tall seagrass? Wait, am I mistaken? Is there a difference between seagrass and kelp? Where where would I find kelp instead then? Maybe I don't know where to look for kelp. I thought I did. I thought I was smart. Happy Valentine's Day, thanks, Minnie. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Kelp grows in deeper oceans. Ah, deeper oceans. 
Any plans? No, no plans. We, we don't do Valentine's, so... Um, yeah, not much in the way of plans for that. Ooh, jeez. I'll look up a, a D-Potions uh, biome. Can you just not? There we go. Nice. Oh my god, I keep absolutely flying off the top of that. Because of these running boots. Off out with the misses at six. Let's go. Even though you had a misses, if I'm honest. Um, bu -bu 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 -bum. Where's the compass? H compass. One of many. Deep ocean. Ooh, we can fly there. Get some nice height and we will fly this bad boy. Don't even know if I've actually gone this way before. Have I gone this way before? No, this is new for me. All right, let's take it. The world's doing all right. Server's holding up well. Now, this is a big eroded Badlands. Holy moly. I love your stream open the whole time. Thanks, dude. We love a lurker out here. We love a supportive lurker. Have a little wander down here real quick. See if there's one of these infinite stakes in the chest here. Imagine there was. <laughs> Imagine I opened it and it was right there. I'd have lost my mind. Oh, my God. That's a bigger drop than I thought. Take all of that with me. Uh, what else we got? I can breathe on the water there because of my backpack so that we're all good on that front. Ooh. Let's grab the old... What is that? Oh, that's andesite. Uh, maybe I won't use andesite for building. Maybe more cobblestone. Uh, take those. Yeah, that'll do the trick. Oh, there's another one there. No, nothing there either. Damn, they are just giving Prismarine away here. This is nuts. Right, anyway, compass. Where'd it go? Yeah, we've got 900 blocks to cover, uh, cover even. This is definitely faster than the old, um, than the old biplane and the, the gyroscope and stuff. Uh, and the uh, gyrocopter. 100%. This is a lukewarm ocean. Does this have kelp? What is that? Oh, it is. It is kelp. Nice. That'll do. Lovely. Oh, God. It scared the life out of me then. Well, that was really creepy. Nice. Adric, thank you very much for becoming a uh, a member on YouTube, dude. Much appreciated. Peace. Oh, the bloody puffer fish. Oh, go away. It's the ocean creeper one. It's horrible. Horrible little bugger. Right, so we need some dried kelp. I've got 44. I'll get a stack and we'll go from there. Oh. Oh. There we go. Is that about a stack? Eh, that's, that's close enough. I'll just do home from here. Nice. Right then. So we're going to use the fan, I reckon, to, um, to dry this stuff out. So I want to probably take this depot over here and do a little swapperoo with it. Let me just move some stuff into my inventory. There we go. Uh, guess what I can do, actually, is I can take that. I can take that. I can take the fan. Pop that there. Lovely. We'll get the old depot. Pretty sure, isn't it just that? Oh, no, wait. Oh, no, it's dry. Don't I need fire? Wait, hold up. Make sure I do this. There we go. Uh, that needs to be turning the other way, I guess, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And can I just pop that on there instead, maybe? Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, that works. I'm happy with that. Uh, then don't I need to do... I need to do a little flint and stealing on it. Which I've got. 
and then that's doing that. And then is it just like just literally whack the kelp there and it gets it gets smoked? Guess it must be right. Oh, it's going to do the whole stack, isn't it? I mean, that's fine. It's not as though kelp is that hard to come by. There we go. Cool. <laughs> Was it awkwardly waiting? Does anything happen to me if I stand here? Oh, I catch fire. Fantastic. All right, good. So, oh, ow. Oh, yeah. All right. Hold on. Let's put that out. Put that out. What I need to remember to do, actually, is grab a new Totem of Undying from Magnus' top chest. There you go. And wasn't it? You can attach it. Or if I shift click it, there, there you go. It equips it automatically. Nice. Right. What we were making quest wise, it was the elevator pulley. Was that it? A dried kelp block. So we make one of them. Nice. Then from there, we can then throw together the elevator pulley with all the stuff we've got. Nice. Elevator pulley check. Rolling mill check. Keep the brass casing out. Andesite casing to there. Andesite alloy. Bring those out. Nice. Got the money in there as well. Got it. All right. Next quest is the quest here. Bam, bam. The, the, the gantry shift. Guess I can make those. Server doesn't contain enough information. What was the recipe for? I'll just do it manually. It was andesite, redstone, andesite. All right. Do it manually. Where is it? Andesite, andesite. Oh, was that redstone I just dropped? Oh, it's there. But it was still on the floor. Lovely. That's another one ticked off. We'll do a big collection in a minute. Weighted ejector, so depot, golden sheet, and cogwheel. All right, fair. So depot. Uh, we need just one cogwheel, which is one shaft and one plank. Yeah, got it. The weighted ejector is so fun. It's an aerial faith plate from Portal. I don't know what that means. I've played the Portal games, but I don't have like... The strongest recollection of them i feel as though it's been so long since i've played them that i could play them again and the puzzles would feel fresh to me you know what i mean i feel like i'm like that with a lot of games i think i've just played so many over the years gold sheet depot cogwheel uh gold sheet depot cogwheel bam that's another one done wait yeah, let's put some of this prismarine stuff away uh oh mob drops can come out Sea Lantern, Prismarine, got that, Sticky Mechanical Piston, and I'll whack the Dry Kelp in there for now. Those are going there. What else can go away? Sea Pickle, I guess I'll drop that in there. Slime Balls can go in. Nice, cool, all right. Next one. Level 50 now on the old XP. Smart Fluid Pipe. Fluid Pipe is Copper Sheets and Copper... Why does it keep doing that? Is it just because it's not like in the backpack for some reason? Oh, where'd my crafting table go? Whoops. I'm just going to see whether it's because I'm trying to do it outside of a crafting table. Oh, but then it doesn't account for then my backpack in the recipes. That's kind of a shame, actually. Like, it won't pull resources from there. You have to specifically pull them all in and out. Uh, copper sheets. There we go. Smart fluid pipe. Bam, bam, got it. I think I've already got gold sheets, but did I, need, did I need numerous gold sheets? No, just the one. Okay. Electron tube. Still got another one of those. And an iron sheet as well. And the final bit of the rest. Oh, I made a regular fluid pipe. God, I thought I'd made it then without realizing. I was like, I'm pretty sure I've still got one step to go. Oh, it's a brass sheet. Mm, brass sheets, luckily for me, I got those. Nice. Got it. Do -do -do -do. Oh, pull the shafts back out. To be honest, I may actually just need those shafts for other other contraptions in a second. Let's see. So that's that one done. 
Mechanical arm. Oh, now this thing I like. So that, that requires the precision mechanism, so we won't do that. And the site funnel. Easy. Just get some dried kelp out of my chest. Dried kelp. There it is. Have they upgraded in any way how those work? The um, Not the andesite funnels specifically, because I think it's the brass funnels that you have to combine with a filter. Have they changed at all how the filters work or no? So I still, I still never particularly liked them. I, like the nesting them is a is a nice solution, but it's still very, like it feels very cluttery. It feels hard to manipulate. If that makes sense. Shooting case in. I think I've definitely got a shoot spare yet. Uh, and the sight case, and I've got in my inventory as well. Nice. There we are. Let's try that. Where was it? Uh, done that one. That's the one we want. What's next? Contraption controls. Another electron tube. Bloody hell. What do you need for electron tube again? It is an iron sheet. I may be short on iron sheets at the minute, actually. Mm. Yes, I think I am. Let's grab. I mean, I've got some raw iron. Throw some raw iron into the furnace and then grab everything else we need out from there Oop. oh they're in the hot bar oh god no that oh sorry then that's zinc yeah, i thought you were right for a second then throw the uh the funnels back in this way don't need the funnels we'll keep the case in what else don't we need i'll keep the kelp on me for now because i feel like it's going to ask me to make a lot of like um a lot of conveyor belty type stuff in the, in the next few minutes so we'll keep that all to hand God, that is kicked those out real quick. Right, iron sheets. Oh, we need the depot from there. Thank you. Uh, yep, cool. Um, I'll put on like half. I'll leave that going there. I do need to steal some. Are they in there? I don't know, maybe I do need to just straight up steal them from this side. Am I missing a cogwheel, maybe? I might be. That may be the case. Maybe a case of that one goes there and then a big one goes in. Mm. A wheel. How am I short on one of those? Not sure how I've ended up short on a cogwheel, but that's fine. Um, large cogwheel. Bam, bam. There we go. This thing is zooming. Look at that. 512. Super duper fast. To be honest, that'll probably be enough for a moment. What was the next thing? It was contraption control. And a sight casing, a button, and an electron tube. Oh, is it the electron tube I was making? Um, electron tube. Yep, got it. Oop. Uh, and a sight casing and the button. Uh, where's a plank? Should make four buttons. What was the other thing I needed? Casing. And a sight casing. And it's like alloys there. Logs. All right, there we go. Got it. Easy peasy. Nice. Got it. Another one done. Yeah, and probably the one early on despawned, right? That's probably a case of what went down. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Got it. Uh, if you want the electron tube recipe always available, press... Uh, a while hovering over them and store it on the left side. Yeah, to be fair, I probably should do that. That's been a recipe that I've kind of been repeatedly doing. Copper valve, three copper sheets and an andesite alloy. Do I already have that stuff? I do. Or I can just do it myself. Fine, whatever. Uh, andesite alloy. All flip. 
what's next? The stressometer, speedometer, compass, and andesite casing. Lovely. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, that's zinc, nor andesite. Nice. Uh, do I have a spare compass knocking about? I must have a few spare or something, right? Do I really not have a compass spare? What's compass again? It's just um, the iron surrounding. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, do I have any iron ingots? Or well, it's more so. Do I have any redstone? Yeah, I do. Nice. Grab those. Stressometer, speedometer. Um. Oh, what was the what was the recipe? I'll just see it. It's one above, one below. Okay. You there. You there. Got it. And then I put that into there. Got that. Nice. I think we ticked two off in one go there, probably. Yeah, look, bottom right and top left. Sweet. We're almost getting there, chat. We've almost done it. And once we've done that, we've at least got everything unlocked at least once. So like, it'll be nice just because it'll mentally set me up as like a... You can make everything. You have the facilities to make everything. You've done it at least once. And also, we're just rinsing it for XP. The Nox crew replied to your tweet. Oh, God. <laughs> what have they said? Uh, in the little wood. Uh, notifications. In fact, that's a brave move to notifications. Only because there's so many bloody porn bots on, on Twitter. Where is it? Uh, let's see. Oh, that's cute. So I tweeted saying, roses are red. They don't grow on trees. Uh, I love you as much as the Knox crew loves these. Um, and they put, we love the rhythm. That much is true, but we also love each one of you. Oh, Eloise working overtime today, chap. <laughs> She's working hard to get paid today. Oh, MCC Island replied as well. All right, hold on. Is Eloise doing the Obama meme where she's crowning herself with a medal? Let me find the MCC Island response as well. Give me two seconds. Where is it? Oh, yeah, there it is. Got to keep everybody on their toes. <laughs> Simple. That's fine. Eloise left the Knox crew a while ago, if I remember correctly. Oh, really? Oh, I wasn't aware of that. Happy V-Day, baby boo. Thank you, Draz. Going to see Draz on Friday, everybody. Very excited. It's going to be good. Um, right. Let's see. Quickly grab some more of this cacti as soon as it's growing a bit. It's nice that the cacti grows regardless of season. Ooh, over we are nice cool so next recipe we're going to work on is going to be this weird thing called the sticker cobblestone andesite alloy slime ball is that i'm literally just missing the slime ball from that one easy peasy dude uh slime ball will be in here oh oh wrong one what is that menu teams Ah, you can create teams. I was not aware of that. That's actually kind of cool. Don't know what mod that is, but I like the I like the concept of it. Uh, so we got that one. You're done in a way. How many more we got left? We got the spout. I like the spout actually. The spout's really fun. Copper casing. How do you do copper casing? Oh wait, so I have to put down a log. And then I have to drop a copper ring onto it. Ah, interesting. Have I got one of the um, one of the pointy boys? I can't even remember what it's called. Where is it? Thought I'd made one. Yeah, there it is. A deployer. I'll give that a quick go. What was the recipe for the rest of it? It was a. Oh God! I've stepped out too many steps there. Oh wait, manual item application. Oh, I can just still, I can click on a log with a copper ingot just as is. Oh, right. I thought I had to do it with. All right, cool. Yeah, I, I don't even have to worry about that. Um, goodbye. 
You are not needed anymore. Fare thee well. Some more of that kelp. Lovely. Spout goes into there. We'll probably expand this chest now, I think. Let's do that real quick. Uh, what is it? Compact. Give it one row and one column extra. Just because it is literally holding everything that we want to do. Uh, one, two. Nice. Good, 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 good. Let's bunch of this back together. Uh, I guess I'll put the deployer back now then if I'm not needing that. Hello, Cherry. How are you? Uh, elevator contact. Okay. Mm, doesn't tell me how to make it, I don't think. I guess I'll leave that one for a second. The fluid valve is a fluid pipe and an iron sheet. Fluid pipe. Boom, 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 boom. There it is. An iron sheet, I'm sure I've got some of, yeah. We good, we good. Nice. What else we got? The smart, what is it? The smart shoot. Ooh. Can you see I can drag stuff over here? Was it up here? Oh, it just appears across that top bit there. Oh, interesting. So what, if I press that and then press this? Oh, it then just brings it up. Cool. Okay. Uh, I need to make some more rose quartz. Just make as many as I can, to be honest. Sandpaper is still in my offhand. Yeah, checking it. As far as, uh, if I remember correctly, elevator contacts are something that are only generated by using an elevator pulley or redstone contacts. Okay. Fair. Oh, did I run out of sandpaper? Whoopsie. One sand for me. Oh, oh, this because there's still quartz in there. Fair. Nice, got it. We're almost there though, chat. Uh, need a shoot as well. I'm pretty sure. Got more shoots left. Make an electron tube real quick. I guess I'll chuck that straight into there. Nice. Uh, I'll keep some of the kelp out. That'll be fine. Let's just throw the ultra balls away for a minute. Uh, I guess I'll turn that last one into that one. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. A portable fluid interface. Copper casing and a shoe. Easy. One more shoe. I don't think I have a spare copper casing just yet, so we'll just quickly get copper. Not yet. Any others left? The brass funnel. Here we go. So another electron tube. Fair. Oh, it's not letting me do it. What was it? Was it one of these in an iron sheet? Was it? Yeah, electron tube. Brass funnel. Brass ingot and dried kelp. Okay. Brass. Oh, there's a villager nearby. Brass ingot. Am I out of brass ingots again? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I've got loads. And a dried kelp. Lovely. Oh, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. A brass tunnel. So what's the difference with a brass tunnel then? I'm intrigued. Oh, that's zinc. That's why that didn't work. I was looking at it thinking I've definitely got the recipe right. I'm sure of it. Oh, that did not go into my inventory. Fluid tank is a barrel. What's a barrel again? Isn't a barrel slabs? Okay. It's planks, slabs, boop, boop, boop. Thank you very much. Fluid tank, copper sheets, lovely. And then finally, Turntable. Slab and a shaft. Easy. I wonder what the turntable is used for. What would you be rotating in this? I feel like there's loads of these items that I feel... Either I never clocked onto them when I did it before, or they just didn't exist in the previous version of Create that was in another mod pack that I played. 
There we go then. So we've done everything down here except for the mechanical arm because that requires the precision thing. Uh, maybe it's worth me setting that up. Shall I make three deployers and try and get the precision mechanism made? So we need three of those going across a belt and a cog wheel, large cog wheel and iron nuggets. And you've got to do it five times. Jesus. 80% chance for it to work, 20% chance for a random salvage that could be worth the while what are these things oh this is all the train stuff isn't it a sturdy sheet onto brass casing what's a sturdy sheet oh this is an even different one so you use a spout to spit lava onto something then you just squish it twice interesting the train could be a fun project the train the train could be a fun project Imagine Timmy logs in next time if he ever logs in again and there's a train set up between mine and his place. Or for anybody that logs into the server and is at spawn, they can just like travel travel to, to my base via train. Kind of feel like I'm going off the Pokemon idea and going more towards wanting to make the train. Just to make something a bit cool. What do you think? Do we go for it? I mean, I guess really first thing regardless is I want to make the, the belts and the deployers. I need a bunch of brass hands. So I'm going to need two more brass hands. Uh, brass hand. I have the stuff for that. I'm missing some brass sheets. Okay, let's go make a few. Ooh, sky looks nice tonight. Whoops. Uh, brass hand or brass ingots. Lovely. There's a game called Satisfactory and they use a train mechanic to transport items and it's my favorite mechanic I've ever played with. Ooh, it's pretty cool. Would it be worth stripping the logs on the cutting board just so you get the bark for the paper? Uh, yeah, maybe actually. And also it gives me a load for whenever I want to make like, um, when I want to make various versions of casings. Let's do that real quick then. Let's get whatever available logs I have. Do a bit of that get these going i don't know if you'll see this martin uh if you slash your persona in the life series had a dragon in how to train your dragon universe what would it be I i'll level with you i've i'm not familiar enough with that universe to really know i think like most people i probably recognize toothless at a glance but I, I couldn't tell you the types of the other dragons and i've no idea dude sorry sorry right uh let's see I'll put the bark in there because I guess it's a technically a wood wood produce, isn't it? We'll throw some stuff away for now. Let me do um, at create. But anything that's create is going in. There we go. Oh, your username is pronounced Meow T Cow. Nice. Then you want mending on the pick? I already put it on. Mithril pickaxe mending. Yeah. Chucking those, chucking those. Get the runic twin blade there. Pop that bad boy in. Uh, andesite I'll throw into here, even though andesite's a generic Minecraft thing, but it just feels appropriate in the create chest because it's used so frequently by create. So it feels appropriate. Pop these bad boys on the grill. Yeah, maybe, maybe we can make a train instead then. I'm kind of feeling that. So is this the track? That also requires precision stuff. No way. Dude, maybe the train's a lot of work. It would be cool though. It'd be cool to make something like that. Maybe we'll have a think. What we'll do for today is we'll get we'll get the production line set up. So we've got the uh, the three deployers rocking and rolling. And then we'll figure out the rest from there. Where's that trader? Oh, another one of these. Hold on, hold on. Uh, let me go get my Pokeballs. Hold up. He's not going to go out of render distance. This is fine. Pokeballs, Ultras, Great Balls. Yep, 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 yep. All right, cool. Got it. So, Apo killed one of these yesterday. <laughs> he was like, 
oh hey that'll be the perfect pokemon for you given that it's a tree and i'm in the little wood and then it just all fell apart uh you are level 36 okay uh what's we'll now executor we'll see what executor can do here wood hammer wood on wood doesn't seem like it'll be very applicable try again it says the move missed as opposed to not being very effective ah there you go that's a nice small amount of hp oh it's stolen hp from me cheeky bugger i reckon executor might get oh oh dude was that a critical hit oh well never mind <laughs> was it even apo's fault that's fine never mind um i tell you what let me just heal up my heal up my boy nice got it move some stuff into there my, my my backpack's a bit of a mess maybe i'll try and just empty this out real quick hold on um just because i get so this stuff in my inventory just gets messy so quickly it'd be nice for me to just make sure that it's it's doing its thing am i hungry again nice uh, anything else to go in this chest? No. Food, 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 food. Where'd I put that steak? Here it is. Dried kelp into there. Obsidian into the nether chest. This backpack in there. Compass. Compass. I'll even put the hose in there for now. I don't exactly need the hose all the time. You into there. Guess what I'll do? I'll keep some of those in the chest or in the backpack because I use them quite frequently. Build it. Uh, nether. I can take the quartz. You can take that. Uh, where are we going to put the gyro? I guess we'll put the gyro and stuff in there. Copper. There we go. Nether rack for you. I guess we don't need the buckets anymore, realistically. I'll put those in here for now. Uh, paper in there. And that in there. Cool, right. My inventory sorting is getting a bit quicker. We're getting there. Uh, pop that there. Nice. Okay, cool. Got it. So, we need to make a few more deployers. I'm pretty certain... Did I get the brass sheets off the belt already? Brass. Brass sheets. I didn't get all of them, though. And then what was the rest of the things for the uh, deployers? Let me check. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So more electron tubes. Do I need more of those? I might need to make more of the rose quartz. So get redstone and we'll grab some quartz. Um, one, two, three. Oh, sorry, I'll make another one. That's fine. Nice, and then the sandpaper I threw back in here, didn't I? Sandpaper, where are my eyes going? There they are. The first evolution's perfect. Phantom is so cute. To be fair, Phantom is 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 adorable. I don't think I've seen one whilst playing Cobble One so far. Actually, a Phantom, not to not to my recollection. Uh, deployer. Andesite casings is what we need. Do I have any spares? The stream could always use more subscribers. Brass casing and that's that. All right, fair. Let's pull those logs out then. Um, do, 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 do. Itles blob less than three idols blob. Nice, got it. And then it was more of the electron tubes as well, wasn't it? So iron sheets wouldn't go amiss. Two iron sheets there. Can we do with a couple more? I'll go put some on the uh, on the press. Iron sheets. Oh, the iron was in the forge, wasn't it? I forgot about the forge. I kind of got as much iron as I needed out of it and then just went with it. Grab those. Oh, God, no, don't crush that. Bloody hell. I should do the trick for now. Please. Um, what's I was making? 
hands, brass hands. Needed to make two more. One, two. Thank you. Then it was the deployer. Uh, two more electron tubes. One. Make two of those. Basically, two more of these I need. One. I'll do another. Bam, cool. So we got those. Um, aside from that, I'm assuming I'm going to need a bunch of cog wheels. So I'll pull out some shafts and some planks. I'm going to need big and little cog wheels. So I'll make sure I've got the stuff for that. I need the dried kelp, I guess, for making the belts. Uh, belt. Yeah, I'll make, make a bunch of those. God, is that really... Jeez, I didn't realize you only got one belt. Oh, no, but is it, it's one belt and you click each end, don't you? Am I remembering that correctly? I remember how that works. Is I put out two shafts? Oh, let me let me grab the shafts. Hold on. Ooh. Shafts. I saw them last second. I think it's. I think it's. You just put out two shafts, and then you can put the belt between them. So um, and um, and then it's just the one belt, isn't it, to go between the two? Oh, that's further back than it looks. Whoops. Is that not how it works? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's just the one belt. Sweet. So I, I was thinking that I had to have a belt for each each block <laughs> along the way. You know what I mean? But it turns out that's not the case. That's fine. Good, good, good. Uh, those other bits should be all good now. Wait. So what else did I need? So I needed the deployer, I need the belt. Uh, obviously need a bunch of cogwheels, so I've grabbed what I need in that regard. I've got shafts for making cogwheels. What else do I need? I'm trying to think. Oh, so I need to connect this up. Um, take those. Woo, thank you. Nice, cool. Um, I guess I don't need, like, crazy speed, right? I mean, unless I want crazy speed, I don't know. Oh. Oh. I struggle to find the lineup on this. There you go. So that would be there. Do I need to put a shaft coming off of that, do you reckon? So that's all going to go this way. Pop that there. And then you want all the machinery to work as well, don't you? I might even maybe be able to do that i guess we'll see you want belt to belt you got that there and then you want your deployers doing their business don't you so if i put uh deployers oh have i even made the deployers yet i don't know if i have you know uh deployers why not make it Oh, I made them. Did I not? Did I? There should be three of them if I made them. There's one there. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good, we're good, we're good. It is in my inventory. I was just not, not clocking it. Oh, that needs to come forwards by one. Then I can pop the deploy there. Oh, that's not quite right. Where's the wrench? I'm going to grab the wrench real quick. Wrench. Got you. Oh, God. How do you do it? Oh, no, that just breaks it. <laughs> Hold on. How do I rotate it? Oh. <laughs> it's pointing sideways. Oh, wait. Is that working? Okay, that's working. That's working. That's working. Okay, good. Um, So that's fine there. And I basically want to have it. Can I have them all three in a row like that? I guess I can, right? 
There you go. Lovely. So we got that. Then if I break just this here real quick. I'm going to pop this one just here. One to there. And then I just need to basically move some stuff along or make some cog wheels. Cog wheels. Let's just make a couple of each. So a couple of those. Just make like five or six of each and then make some big boys as well. And we'll just figure this out. All right, so it will be if I shaft out from there. Uh, hopefully that small one would do. That's not going to do the trick, is it? Oh, no, wait, it would. Oh, no, that's that's not going to work. Uh... Oh. Is that not working? That's still spinning somehow. Does that not work? There we go. Oh, I need to pull those off. There we are. Sky, you gotta chill out with the caps lock. You do this a lot and it's always really intense. Let's just chill. Cool. There doesn't need to be an insane amount of speed on this conveyor belt really, does there? Uh, there we go. I guess if I bring the big cog down and I put a shaft out, is that all going to work? Yeah, there we go. And I guess I put another small cog across the side here and then another deployer. Oh, another deployer just there. There you go. So that's what we got. Do you put a depot at the end for catching the stuff as it comes off? Yeah, I guess that could work. Let's have a look. How do you make the precision? So there's precision mechanism. Okay, so it starts with a gold sheet and you need small cogs, large cogs and iron nuggets. Okay, good. Let me go grab some iron nuggets. So I've got them here. So I need to remember how to do this. So it's small cogs. I mean, I'll make more of each of the cog types as well. And then make some of those. Maybe do just a couple more planks. Maybe if I make 10 of each. Um, boop. Nice, cool, we got 10 of each. And we'll go from there. So, try and remember how you do it. Isn't it you place it in the hand? That's it. Small cog, big cog, and then iron nuggets. There you go. So it's like that. Do, is there a way for me to... Do I have to do anything to, like, give them storage? Oh, no. It's saying iron nuggets times 45... Oh, shoot at the top. Ah, okay, cool. I, I knew there was something like that. Uh, two more. Iron. Oh, no, you get numerous anyway from one recipe. Okay. Cool. Um, what was I? Whoop. So is that then where I chuck in? Oh, I think it's automatically given them to the machine. I mean, either way, it looks fine, doesn't it? That's all good. Right then, uh, let me make it daytime. And we'll see whether we can get these things... Get these things cooking and moving. Oh, hello, Raiders. Thank you very much to Lucian for the raid. Come on in. Hope you had a good stream, dude. Oh, wait a second. Cool, got it. I was just replying to um, Streamlabs Logitech chat 
I was worried that they wanted an answer from me, uh, as in like a, a hard final answer on the 16th, which is what, Friday this week. Uh, but it turns out that's when they're presenting their budget, basically, or their proposals to the, I guess, the finance team, I would assume, um, on the 16th. And then any contracty stuff will all be done in uh, March. So yeah, still, still no, no full traction on that for a little while just yet, but it's good to know. Um, just thoughts. How will I get stuff onto the shoot or onto the line? Would I just do that? Can I can I drop those in like that? Well, that's that's doing it as a stack. When I want to do it, isn't it with a? Um, I'm trying to remember. I mean, I guess I can just right click. But wasn't there a way of doing it with? Was it like using a chest and a funnel? Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. Let's do that then. Funnel, funnel, funnel. Mechanical plow, no. Where's funnel? It's not entirely different in shape. I see brass funnels and site funnels. Yeah, we want to do and site funnels because they just basically just run everything out, don't they? And then I, I'm sure I've got the wood on me to make a chest. I usually do. Um, boop, boop, boop. Nice, got it. So just put a random block here, chest there, and then the funnel goes on the side. Nice. Oh god. And then I do one, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's a brass. Oh god, no, 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 no! Stop, 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 stop! Kill it! Stop it all! Stop it all! <laughs> Jesus! I put in the wrong one. I got mis I got I got brass and gold mixed up. I'm an idiot. Brass sheets. Do I even have any gold sheets? Oh my god, don't tell me after all this I've got no bloody gold sheets. I thought I did. Christ, hold on. Okay, I've got three gold sheets. I need... How many do I need? I mean, I guess it goes around five times. I don't necessarily need anything else. Right, so one, two, three. Let's pop this back on. There we go, got it. Right, so it's got to do five runs of this. Ooh. Uh, so item iron nugget, but these two don't appear to have what they're looking for. Yeah, it didn't seem to have the... Oh, God. Okay, hold on. So it's it's the it's the other bits weren't working properly. So we try again. So deployers, large cogwheels, small cogwheels. So oh, not quite. Okay, that's that's going there. Okay, that's there. So, is there a, let me just check. So there's attack and use. So I want use, I would assume. So, and what was it again for a precision? Uh, da, 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 da. It was small, big iron nuggets. Okay, so small cogwheels, big cogwheels. Hmm, the big cogwheel didn't seem to take. It is saying large cogwheels though when I hover over it. Oh, is it this thing? Oh, wait. Maybe it's this thing. Click with item to replace. Oh, is this the issue I'm having? That looks like it's working as intended, I would assume. Cogwheels. 
Oh, I need to rotate it as well. Okay, so that's going there. Where have my big cog wheels gone? Oh, that one's also not facing the right way. Never bloody get this right. Never know which face to click on to make stuff rotate in Crate Mod. Did they get into the chute somehow? I guess maybe. I don't know, maybe not. Hmm. Let me just start again on all of this. Oh, they flung off that way. Oh, is that where my large cog wheels were? Oh, they're there. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> right, okay, hold on. Let's start fresh. Right, so. There's a way that I can guarantee better the positioning of this. Right, that's working okay there. So that's just not doing what I want. Okay, that's in use mode. Uh, iron nuggets, check. So I click on there and click on the hand. That's now placed in iron nuggets. But it's currently not rotating, so I need to fix that. Oh god. I can't fathom it. Click the bottom with the wrench, but whenever I click the bottom with the wrench, it nothing changes. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait. Oh, God. Now it's pushing through the floor. Is this in attack mode? I don't want it to be in bloody attack mode. How do I change the mode? Where's the, where's the mode thing? The mode thing this side? God, this... It, it does, it's, it's not intuitive enough. Give me a second. Alright, try again. Right, you're there. You're there. No. Oh my fucking hell. <laughs> oh, please! God! Right, click on there. Right click with a wrench. You're there, okay? Bottom does that. It's really hard to catch the bottom of it and then also not catch that at the same time. Right, what mode are we in at the minute? We're in use mode, okay. That's what we want. I'm going to click on the hand itself. You've now got that. You should be fine. Right, next one. Bloody hell. Right, okay, so. Go really slowly here. You're now facing downward. You're also doing that. Let's change you between to use mode. Good. Right, what was it? Large, small, small, large, small, large. God. Right, large. Good, 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 good. good. Right, two out of three, two out of three. And that's the thing that that's the thing that really fucks me up is that there there we go it's i'm trying to place them next to each other but then it keeps adding it as some kind of filter that's the thing that, i think that's what keeps throwing me right so you are in use and you've got that right uh, where's your the cogwheel's gone <sighs> when it set that random filter on the side on that little weird face that then ruined everything. Right, okay. This has got to be the one. My hand's not even moving with the rest of it now. This is wild. Right, okay. Right, okay. You're in use mode. You've got that. Large cog wheel. Bam. I think that's it. I think that's finally it. Although I do need some more golden sheets is the only problem. <laughs> Right, I think I think that's set up. I think that's working. Can I use this and bring it out to here? And then where's my press? I might need to make another depot. In fact, I'll just I'll steal this depot just for a second and pop it here. Right, I need just a little bit more gold. Oh, not got enough saturation. You have the sheets, don't you? No, I've got three. Oh, no, yeah, I guess I only need one, but I think I have to make numerous precision uh, thingies. I mean, I guess what I'll do is I'll, I'll pop these I'll pop these gold ones on. One, two, three. And then I'll go grab some gold. You can squash on any block, not just the depot. Yeah, but doesn't the depot hold it? 
Uh, where's gold ingots? There you go. Man, I haven't seen you since your millionaire playthrough years ago. What, Millionaire's Mansion? Did I, did I play that? Oh, there you go. They've all come off the other end. Right, we've got incomplete ones. Three incomplete ones, okay? So, literally, one, two, three. In you go again. Uh, let me try and make a depot real quick, just so they get caught at the end. Or should I just make another chest, I guess, maybe? I guess if I... I'll do that. I'll make another chest and another shoot. Oh, will they just stay there? Oh, cool. I mean, that also works for me. Oh, actually, no, because then they're not getting fully off the line. That's fine. I'll just stand here. Lovely. Right, so, so far, I think they're all good. There's an 80% chance this fails, but I, I don't know if it fails only on the final step or if it can fail going through. So to explain what's going on here, we've squished some gold into one of these, into a golden sheet. We've put it on this conveyor belt and we're squishing a small cogwheel, a large cogwheel, and an iron nugget onto it. And it's making something that we hope it will make, which is called a precision mechanism, which I'm just going to assume is a fancy word for clock. That's what I'm going to assume. But it's almost there. It has to do this run five times. I don't know how many more runs it needs. I think I swear it needs two more, doesn't it? I guess that one's not done yet. Is that run out? Oh, I think that's run out of cogwheels. Whoops. I guess it would run out pretty fast. And that one doesn't even have any large ones. Bloody hell. Oh dear. I mean, that's got iron nuggets for days. Yeah. That's fine. Let that last one go for a second. Sweet. Uh, let me go get some more cogwheels then. Well, I guess it's more. I just need to make more shafts. What's the recipe for shafts again? It is... Andesite. Oh, it's just two lots of andesite. Okay. I actually have that already. Yeah. Sweet. Right, got it. I, I don't know if that's going to be enough to finish it off. It might be. Whoa, Jesus, I got some momentum there. Right, so you've done your job. And then... Oh, no, you've not done your job yet. That's the issue. That's large, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely. I guess I'll pop the other two in there real quick. Get them going. And this one into here. Oh yeah. Still not still might not be enough, but we'll we'll see what we end up with. Oh, it works! We got one! That one did not work. Damn it. That one did work. Alright, two out of three is not bad. I'll take two out of three. Okay, cool. Let's start again then. Um, the gold into there. Let's just see how it works. What was the recipe for a depot again? Oh, I, I tell you what, I'll do the chest thing. I'll do a chest. Um, bloop, 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 mm, bloop. And I've got another filter here, right? There you go, nice. Oh, there's another one. Now, did you say there was a way that I could move the stuff from one end to the other? What was, I swear somebody in chat said about doing that. Where was it? Uh... Mm. Weighted ejector to have it loop. Okay, let's have a look at the weighted ejector. Sneak click a part of the belt before the hands with the weighted ejector before placing the ejector. Wait, 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 hold on. Sneak click a part of the belt before the hand with a weighted ejector. So one of these two slots here with a weighted ejector. Then place the ejector at the end of the belt and it will shoot them back. Oh, right. Gotcha. Okay. Ejector. I'm pretty sure I already made a weighted ejector. Because we've made almost one of everything. That's why we're making these precision things is to make some of our final things. Um, ejector is there.
Okay, so you said shift click with the weighted ejector to there. And then would I put it then there? Let me get rid of this. So hold on, I'll do it again. So weighted ejector there and you pop that there. And then what if I then put down one golden sheet? Put it in the chest just for simplicity's sake. You need to power you need power to coil it up. Oh of course. Of course, of course, of course. Um Hold on a second, so we go boop boop. Boop. Are you a big wheel or a tiny wheel? I think you're the wrong size wheel for me. Can I not go down? So would it need to be a large cog wheel to go down there? Oh, that, that now doesn't have small cog wheels. Bloody hell. <laughs> I'm getting there, chat. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll, I'll get this. I can figure this out. Uh, good. If anything, that's better. It's probably gearing up too slowly, but we'll see. Okay. It didn't work. <laughs> oh, no. It didn't work. Oh, no. I don't know if it didn't work because it's... There's too much of a break in like the line of sight, I guess. Does it not tell you if there's like a like a conflict or anything? I'd have thought that anything along this way would be fine. Reckon that would do it. We can, I guess we can just measure. Oh, it actually was showing me the arc. Hold on. The arc is obviously just really difficult to see in third person. I think that would work that time. Okay, so let's get rid of this belt real quick. Oh dear. No, 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 no. Oh God, no. Oh Jesus. Oh no. <laughs> oh God, that's in the way though. Please. Stop. There you go. 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 Right, I'm going to have to really move this along, aren't I? You can also use the second belt. Oh, use a second belt to power. Oh yeah. Good shout. Good shout. Yeah, very good shout. Rather than having to mess around with this one and this one, I can just put a belt between those two. Although well, I think I'm short on a shaft now. Uh, dried kelp. What was it again for a belt? Oh, that was it. That was the recipe. Nice. Oh, whoops. Oh. Belt, 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 belt. Oh, it is there. There. There you go. So maybe that will now work. Do I have my precision thing? I've got... Wait, have I got two incompletes? Oh, there. I'll just work on the one for now. Let's see if that one will actually work. This would be cool if it can go over it. I guess the main thing is we need to make sure that that precision belt... Sorry, not the precision belt. The ejector has enough time to reload. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, my God. That's great. I don't think it's even... Oh, actually, it might just have enough time. So, look. Can you see what's happening? So, it follows along to here. It lands on there and it yoinks. Although, to be fair, even if it has to wait for that to go down, that's not, that's not the worst thing in the world. That's so cool, dude. That is so cool. Right, anyway, uh, we could probably get it a teensy bit faster, I guess, if I go for... Um, I'll put a tiny boy there. And then if I put a big boy at the front. Would that then be quicker? If I made one tiny boy... I'm just I'm, I'm not the best with the with gear management and making stuff move fast uh, ooh, ooh. that looks a little quicker Let me try that real quick 
I know it's kind of unnecessary to put a belt for this kind of distance, but sod it. I like my slightly scuffed setups. Is that a bit faster now? 32. That looks a bit quicker. Oh, you are missing some big boys around them. Yeah. That's when I need to make a couple more. Oh yeah, that's coming out way quicker. That's coming out way faster, dude. Way faster. That's very cool, dude. I like that. So is that new? I feel like I've not seen that before. <laughs> just, I just, I love that the item actually rotates as well. It's not even like it's a flat plane that just sort of rainbows over. It actually has like a spin to it. That is so cool. Right, that's that one done. Uh, I guess I'll pop you on the belt. You crack, you crack on. You live your life. Oh, I've only got one tiny cogwheel there. Let me get a few more in. Um. There we are. That's very cool. You can have you. You can then have a brass funnel before the ejector with a filter. Oh, as in, so I would put a chest um, here and then the brass filter there to pull it in. Oh my god, I thought the Krabby was about to get launched. Imagine it did. Imagine it launches any entities that stood on it. Oh, wait, does it? Oh my god, it, whoa, what did a minute it does? Oh, wait a second. Now this is of interest to me. Could I create a bunch of these? And build a launch pad path from Timmy's house to my house. Because we're a relatively straight line. Where am I? Uh, follow to me. So Timmy lives. Or even from Michaela's base. Prank mode engage. Oh my god. What if I just put a bunch of them inside of his house. So he just keeps getting launched around everywhere. Because he's got a really small house. Oh, I wonder. I wonder, dude. What's happened to that last one, by the way? Did, did, did the last one break or something? Oh, it must have done, actually. Yeah, I think I think it gave me back one andesite alloy. Oh, I like the idea of that. I like the idea of turning this into a bit more of a prank. Cool. Well, there you go. We've got the deploy line, which is something that I've made before. But this little, this little weighted ejector is very cool that's something new that i've not had previously we're learning we're learning new tech i'm all about it maybe next time i we'll work on the steam engine thing i'm not 100 sure but um yeah that's pretty cool let's see let me just see actually what's the the ejector what do you need for that gold sheet depot and that All right spare depot let me just grab this depot quick Wait to the ejector. Just need two small cog wheels. I just want to see how it works between the two. If I go for here to. Oh, it's shift click, isn't it? Hold on. Oh, was it? Was it there? Oh, wait, hold on. I'm just trying to think. I guess I need to set these up, don't I? Um, because if I just quickly rotate this one. Just blend the floor for a second. Mm, maybe not that. Basically, I just want to see whether you can just like bounce back and forth between them. Yeah, I'll do a shaft and a belt between two of them. Um, I mean, can I just take that off of there for a second? Yeah, I'll do that for it, just real quick. Right, so if I do... Just do that. If I do triple, does that make all of them spin? I would assume it does.
Yeah, I guess it must do. So that's already working. Cool. Okay, cool. So shift click, click, and then shift click, click. You'd have to get some serious speed on it. <laughs> oh, this could be fun. This could be really fun. It would take it would take some time to set up, but we could totally do that and just bounce somebody around. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, good. Ideas are brewing, my dude. Ideas are brewing. Nice, cool. Uh, got that. What was I doing here? Uh, oh, there's no shaft there. Oops. Nice. Cool, got it. By the way, uh, before you move things back, put a shaft coming out. Oh, sorry, you've, I've already done it. Put a shaft coming out of your precision belt. Out of my precision belt. And then one right next to the coming in and belt between them. Wait, what, sorry? Put a shaft coming out of your precision belt. What's my precision belt? Put a shaft on the end of your current belt and belt the ejector from there. Oh, sorry. Wait, wait, hold on. Put a shaft on the end of your current belt. I mean, can I just put two? Just a thought, hold on. You mean, are you basically saying to use the power from this to power that? Or am I misunderstanding what you guys are saying? Why would it why would I do it with a I guess I could do it with a belt. In my head I was thinking I could just do it with two small cogwheels, but I guess a belt's I guess I guess either or, right? But like a cogwheel would probably be less visually busy. Right, tell you what, now that we've got the precision mechanism, what can we make with this stuff? Um, oh yeah, the, me the mechanical crafting. I've never done the mechanical crafting before. We've only got like 10 minutes left, but we can have a little think about this. Oh, the mechanical arm. Yes, 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 yes. Mm, mechanical arm, gotcha. I'm just missing one brass casing. Sick. Oh, 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 wrong slots, wrong slots. Everything's in the wrong place. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, it's already stripped, that's why. My brain was not functioning there, jeez. Um, what was it again, sorry? It was... Brass casing. My brain was not braining, disdaining. Mechanical arm, bop, bop, bop. Bop, yes. Quest completed. Is that everything from that tree now? Oh no, one more elevator connector. But that was, you said that was to do with, I think something has to happen almost for one of those to work. Um, lots we miss him. Electro motor, that again is done with mechanical crafting. Are there any ingredients inside of that we don't have? An iron rod, so that's just running one of those into there. Okay, hold on. What I do is I'll bring out that roller pop it just on the machine that we got uh, rolled. Uh, there it is, rolling milk. Thank you very much. I could probably power a lot off of this thing because these things don't have to be fast or powerful. It's just they just sort of have to work. You know what I mean? These can all work on it, just like a ground level. Oh, overstressed. I guess I can just do this. No, I was stressed. Fair. 
I guess to be honest, if I unplug that, does that then work? Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, I need an iron ingot. Chuck one in the top. Oh, you don't even have any small cog wheels. Poor soul. Poor unfortunate soul. There we go. Nice, you do your thing. You are still working as intended, right? You are not working as intended. Whoops. Get ready for now. Maybe if I put two small cog wheels there. I feel like that would look just nicer in general. Uh, I think I'm short on shafts again. Can I just do that? Yeah, there you go. That's better, I think. If I pick one up by accident. Oh no, it might have completed. No, not sure actually. Yeah, there you go. Those two are working away as they do. Lovely. Uh, tell you what, those are waiting injectors. Uh, maybe I'll make another depot just so I, just so I've got a recollection for myself of what's going where. Just so yeah, I can see that, and I can see that there's clearly a gap there. Add a second water wheel for more stress units. Yeah, that's true, actually. Guess I could. Uh, water wheel. What's the recipe for that again? So any regular water wheel. Nice. And then the big boy is planks. Sweet. Big water wheel. Boop. Boop. And is adding adding it on, is it just a case of me just adding it on this side here? Am I remembering that correctly? Need a three by three area. Let me just follow it out a bit more. Seem to want to place how I would like it to. There we go. Oh god. Come on. Ah. The torch is out of my offhand. Uh go down oh what, go down deeper. Hey, what, I'm gonna block that off because I think that's what's causing me some issues right now. Or at the very least, I think it might be that way up. Oh, it is there. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Give me a second. There you go. It's that bit there that's caused me the problems. Oh. There you go. Nice. some water oh bloody hell let's pop a smidge of water up here uh where's the hose what have i got in my hose right now bugger all in both of them what mode is it on hose drink mode is that not working oh drink mode is oh yeah sorry normally spill mode Oh, no, that didn't work. <laughs> Whoops. Oops. I've, I've goofed something there. I think it's half, mostly, because I can't bloody see what I'm doing. Just can't read anything. There we go. Oh, Christ. Let's get myself out. I'm feeling claustrophobic in here. I'm claustrophobic, Darren. I'm claustrophobic. Uh... Oh, don't you bloody start. Christ. Come over here. You guys, I kind of forgot creepers existed. I just feel like I almost never see them. Oh, yeah. Fucking... Why 
Why are they all suddenly turning up today? Give it a rest. Um, so you said it was turning the wrong way, yeah? Where did it go? Did I put it in my backpack just then? Oh, the water wheel's there. So why is it that it's rotating the wrong way? What's causing that? What would the issue be? Maybe if I just kill this water source in general. Suck mode. Oh god. Oh no. Where is this water? I can't even figure out where the bloody hell the water is. Tell you what I'll do. I'll just do this real quick. Oh yeah. Let's figure out where the hell this is. Oh my tank is full. Hold on. Change. There we go. Right. Let's do that. So one, two. Okay, good. I guess if I start the water spill mode there. There you go. Is that working? That's saying zero on the front one and five twelve on the back one. Is it too much or too little or what? Make sure this water's flowing down, can you say? Uh, spill mode. One, two. Are they both doing 512 now? Oh, okay, no, no, yeah, now they're, but now they're both doing 512. Okay, good. I think I'm just making that way harder than it needed to be. No surprises there. Classic. Classic. I just, I think it's just still to this day, I just cannot for the life of me bloody figure out Minecraft bloody water flow and lava flow. Every time I think, it, I, I think, every time I think I know how it works, I just don't. <laughs> it's, it's a real ball lake. But I mean, at least it's working now. That's fine. Everything's working as intended. So we're fine. Oh. Um, pull you out. You guys go in. Oh, you're missing large cog wheels at the minute. Don't worry about that, dude. I got you. Careful, a chunk. Yeah, how far are those? I need small cog wheels. And the site alloy. Am I out? No, I'm not. I'm not. Oh, it's going. It's going the wrong way. It's going the wrong way. <laughs> After all that, I've got it going the wrong way. Of course, I have. <laughs> Very funny. Very funny. Let's get the hose back. Suck mode. Is it just the one? Spill mode. Ooh. That better? Five twelve, and hopefully the other one's also five twelve. Yeah, I'm going in the second chat. Don't worry about me. Yeah, cool. Right, now everything's working as intended. Lovely. Right, let's see these precision mechanisms to the end. And then we'll be all done. Uh, what was that one? Oh, did one of them break? Yeah, that one broke. Damn. I think this last one's... Oh, we need another large wheel. How many more of those I need? Is it? I'm gonna guess this is the final one as well. 
And we did it. It finished. Yay. Got it. All right. Well, there we go. We've ended the day with three. Well, technically four, I think we made. Um, precision uh, mechanisms, which is good. We've got a little bit left to do on the old quest meter over here, but um the train stuff we'll do next time that's the that's a whole separate subset of stuff but maybe next time we'll try out this mechanical crafting that you use to make uh like the tesla coil and stuff like that because i've just never used this before i know it looks really cool like you like build it in front of you i guess you make the recipe and then it all kind of like moves into one another so i kind of want to see what that's all about because i've genuinely just never done that before but um yeah there you go all done skis. We're level 56 at the minute as well. Um, one thing I did want to check before we left was if I fly over to Scott's, I just wanted to really quickly see if I could pull a Fortune 3 off of my pickaxe. Um, I mean, I mean, what do you reckon? Do you reckon I... I know, to be fair, if we use Vein Miner, maybe I just put Mending on the Fortune pick, potentially. I've got a bunch of Mending books. Or is it just going to be easier to have it all in one pickaxe? You know what I mean? So like if I wanted to pull fortune off of this, what's that going to cost me? Uh, oh wait, I don't. I need a book. Is there a spare book there? Yeah, there's a spare book. Yes. Yeah, so like if I wanted to do that and then pop a book there, it's going to cost me 25 levels. Do you reckon we do that and just make this efficiency four on breaking three, mending and fortune three? It feels like it'd be worthwhile. What do you think? Is it worth 25 levels? Is it worth the grind that was of this stream? I guess what I need to re remember is... Oh no, because I guess I don't have to think about how to repair a mithril pick because I've got mending on it. Do it YOLO. Sure. Sod it. Okay, I've done it. I've done it. <laughs> but how expensive is it going to be to put on? 10 levels oh my god you know what? i'm doing it i'm doing it i'm doing it i've done all though i've done all that create stuff today just to do it done it done it done it done it we've done it we out here we really got a pick that can do that right brilliant chat thank you so much for watching uh i'm, I'm really enjoying these little these little chill kind of mod pack grind streams it's just fun just learning these mods and figuring out what they do and what they don't and um we'll do some mechanical crafting next time which is something that i've never done even in the older versions of create um those of you watching on youtube thank you so much thanks for hanging out i am gonna dip and say goodbye to you so bye 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 bye